What's going on guys, Guns here back again on another one, another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video and before I start things I just want to say we are still on the grind to 5,000 subscribers. If we can hit it by September 4th, the day I go back in my senior year of high school, a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of cool videos, live streams, giveaways, you guys already know the whole old deal so if we can get to that I would really really appreciate it. But now getting on to the video of course, this is talking about how you guys can get three free diamond players. Two of them being 90 overalls and another one still being a high diamond. Nonetheless, they all still hold very good value. I personally done two of them so far and I am on my way to do the third. Of course, you guys can see I have the stubs to do it. I just have to put in the buy orders and stuff like that. But basically the three free diamond players that we can get are in the programs and they are going to be this bat autograph collector, baseball autograph collector, and bobblehead collector. Now, as you guys can see, I've done the bat and this gives you a 90 overall Willie Stargell. I have done a video kind of explaining him and the Sandberg, but the prices in the market in general have changed up so much. I wanted to retouch base as well as introduce one more and a couple more tips that I can give you guys to strategize this and do it efficiently. But Stargell is a really, really good card. Of course, he has 100 power both ways, a lot of contact. He's, you know, he's pretty good defensively. And uh, yeah, I've done really, really well with him. Granted, some of this is offline, but the majority is off uh, is uh, online. And uh, this Starjo is just a monster. He is a great lefty bat, one of the best power lefty bats that you can get. That is not an immortal in the game, to be honest with you. Next up, this is Ryan Sandberg, a very solid second baseman. Of course, in this game, there really are not too many great second basemen, and uh, Ryan Sandberg gives you everything. You know, he's got about 70 power both ways, 85, 95 contact. He's got 90 fielding, 75 arm and he's got about 70 speed he is a very well-rounded second baseman that can do pretty much everything and once again a very good card and then lastly the one that I did not show is this 87 overall uh, Joe Carter who's got 92 and 106 versus lefties very very good but he still holds his own against righty 64 and 72 uh, contact and power respectively also he's got pretty uh, pretty decent fielding he's got 70 arms so if you put that in left field or you could play him at first base too to be honest with you that's the good thing about him there's a lot of variety of where you can play him and he also has about 60 speed he's got 125 batting clutch which if you guys do not know it actually does affect gameplay basically when you have runners in scoring position your PCI will grow larger based on that 125 clutch so Joe Corda another really good court as well so you guys are probably wondering how exactly do you get these cards for free? So if you look at this Storage One, you're gonna need to collect 29 diamond autograph bats, which if you look on the market, does cost some stubs. It definitely does. Uh, let's go over to diamond bats. Most of them have went down a lot in price. There are a couple expensive ones, such as the Phillies, um, the Rangers one as well, and the Reese, and also the Reds. The reason for that is uh, the Reds are expensive because they have two career arcs, Barry Larkin and Johnny Bench. Um, the uh, Phillies, uh, Mike Schmidt ha has souvenirs in there. That's why that's expensive. And then the Rangers souvenirs are also expensive, a large part because of the Buddy Bell, I will still want to say, which has to uh, do with the Mike Schmidt program. So you're going to need to collect every single bat, obviously, which you're going to want to do put in by orders. I cannot stress this enough. Uh, I'm not going to go through it, but you guys can just see how much you would save. If you bought this straight out uh, 2,095 stubs instead of putting an order in at 1,300, that's like 700 stubs off one bat you're going to lose. So even if you lost 700 times 29, that, that that's like 20,000 stubs in, or, or more in total that you're going to lose. So please put in buy orders, get all 29 of those bats. And this one is really straightforward. You also get this uh, Silver J. Buner and this uh, Alan Trammell as well as you get a bobblehead and a ball, which can give you progress towards these, so it's just one less that you do not have to collect. Also, you do get some souvenir packs, which are actually really good. You can pull some good stuff out of there and get some value back, but then you get this Willy Storjo, and uh, I'll show you guys the exchanges and how exactly you're gonna make all your stubs back So these won't really cost you guys anything in just a second after I explain how to get all of these uh, Ryan Sandberg are gonna need to collect every single bronze baseball 55 silver baseballs 55 gold baseballs 
29 Diamond Live Series player autographs and 25 Hall of Fame baseball autographs. Now keep in mind, if you guys got any autographs, for example, I know when I did Frank Thomas, I got a bobblehead and a ball. So if you guys have done some of these career arcs and immortals already, it's going to give you a lot more progress and you're going to have to spend less stubs so you can actually, uh, you know, make more stubs in the process in doing this. So that's how you're going to go ahead and get Ryan Sandberg. And then finally, Joe Carter is 170 bobbleheads, um, which is pretty much all the bobbleheads that you can buy in the game. Of course, if you do already have some, it will help you. Of course, I have 15 right now. I am going to put in some orders though, but there's 95 bronze and silver, 48 gold and 26 diamond that are uh, auctionable. So uh, moving on on how exactly you can make your stubs back. Basically, once you do this every single, you're going to get everything back. Of course, if you guys don't know the thing about when it says collect, it's not exchange. You don't get rid of these balls or bobbleheads or uh, bats. Actually, what happens is you just get all of them back NAT. So you cannot sell them, um, but you can quick. I think you can quick sell them. I'm not too sure. I, I wouldn't recommend you quick sell them, but you get them back NAT, which means you can still put them into sets. So I have three different categories. First, we're gonna start with Willie Stargell, of course, with the uh, diamond bats. And the thing about those is they have a hefty punch. They have 3,160 exchange points, which is definitely a lot. So it's kind of tough because there's not, there's not really something definitively that would make a lot of sense that you would wanna put them in. But if you wanna make studs, I would probably recommend you put them into the jumbo jersey. I mean the jumbo pack which gives you a diamond bobblehead, a diamond autograph baseball, two gold bobbleheads, and two gold autograph baseballs. And what you can do with this, so you're gonna have to put two of these in, you can kind of choose what you want to do. If you want to just, you know, do this one first and then use the loot that you get from there and put them into the others, you can definitely do that and then it will cost you less stubs in the process or you can just do each one on its own. And uh, of course, you can make all your stubs back that way. So there are different ones that you can do. Of it, it, Like I said, it's kind of tough with this because you're, you're gonna lose out on exchange points. Either way, it's kind of an awkward number that they have it at. So that's how you're gonna do with the Star Trek. Of course, just get everything, figure out what you wanna do, and you will pretty much break even on that. So once again, a free diamond. Moving on to Ryan Sandberg. Of course, he is the baseballs. So starting with the bronze and silver baseballs, they do cost the same and have the same exchange exchange points. Really for these, I would recommend you put them into the bronze hats. Now, of course, if you guys are a market junkie like myself, uh, you guys probably know that the prices have been going down recently. Um, so, which is unfortunate, but bronze hats still do cost a little bit. Of course, you guys can see I already had 60 exchange points in here. So basically, you're only gonna need to put in three bronze or silver baseballs. They all have the same exchange value, which is 150, as you guys can see. I believe I have a bronze baseball or two in here. Um, but either way you guys can see 150 so you're gonna need to put in three of those and then you get 10 bronze hats and if you guys can see right here bronze hats still do go for a quite a bit now of course I'm recording this at about noon uh, central time this is not the ideal time to sell these hats I would recommend you wait until nighttime to do so as you guys can see a lot of these hats are cheaper than they should be at nighttime usually the prices go up so if you want to maximize the stubs that you're gonna get and possibly even make studs when it's all said and done I would recommend that you do that then that would be the best time and of course like I said they will go up and a lot of times people are buying these straight out they will spam buy them so you can kind of finesse people a little bit as you guys will see once you're doing it then uh, you also have gold and uh, gold and diamond balls that you still have to deal with now the gold and diamond balls I both would recommend going into the gold jersey set this is personally my go-to for making stubs right now and basically what you're gonna want to do is uh, if I can find my diamond ball that I bought here we go we got this one right here it does not matter whether it's the live series or the Hall of Fame they both have the same exchange of value so you're gonna put one of uh, one of the diamond balls and then a gold baseball in there and it's gonna be 110 and even if you want to do this if you do both of these at the same time and have the Joe Carter done as well and you have bobbleheads this will actually be a little bit more efficient just because there's less exchange points used but either way you're gonna want to fill that up gold jerseys still go for quite a 
bit, even though, like I said, the market is definitely in a weird place right now. You see the Braves actually only goes for a thousand, but a thousand, you know, right off the bat, really quick like that. Once again, sell these at night. These are definitely lower prices than they should be right now. And then finally moving on to Joe Carter. Of course, he's just bobbleheads. Um, you know, you're gonna get like 95 bronze or silver. And once again, I recommend just put those into the hats. That's gonna be the best way to go about it really. So if you wanna just, uh, it's gonna take like, I, th I think it's just gonna be uh, 125 plus, that's 250, 375. So you're gonna wanna put in three of these. And then once you have those bronze hats done, you're just gonna wanna find a cheap bronze hat. I don't think I actually have any cheap ones. Actually, we do have the pirates. So that would of course give you the uh, required amount. And then finally, the uh, gold and diamond bobbleheads. I recommend you put those into silver jerseys. Uh, um, gold bobbleheads, I believe, exchange for 310. So uh, you can pretty much put two of these and a bronze hat, and then you're gonna get it with no exchange points used, of course, as you guys can see. Um, if we just put a bronze hat in there, right on the dot 650, you're gonna be able to do that. Also, um, if uh, you're looking at diamond bobbleheads, I think those can get you the whole weight. Yes, they can. That will have 20 exchange points left over, but still not too bad. But all that being said, you will pretty much break even when it's all said and done. Of course, like I said, it will help if you have some of these done. It's less studs that you have to spend, but uh, uh, pretty much you guys are going to be able to get three diamond players three very very good diamond players i mean really star draw he still gets some use even though i mean uh, i have frank thomas he is still on my bench and honestly i might start him over frank thomas he is that good really really would recommend him out of all three of these cards the most but if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like down below if you guys have any more uh, questions comments concerns anything of that matter make sure to let me know down below in the comments i'll be glad to help and assist you but I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and then the guys comes out, yeah. Love is love, and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure, and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I tell you.